Well, greetings and welcome to our devotion time here on this Christmas Eve. I hope that you are excited about this day as we get closer and closer to the celebration of Jesus' birth. Do you ever struggle with coming up with a perfect gift for this special uh, loved one in your life? Well, if you do, I bet it's even tougher to think about what is it that we should give Jesus for his birthday. You know, after all, Christmas is about Jesus. What can, uh, what can you possibly give the creator of heaven and earth, the one who is king over the universe? Fortunately, Jesus kind of makes his wish list clear to us. In the book of Matthew, uh, Matthew contains a lot of sermons and teachings related to the, the issue of, of Jesus coming back and, and the day of judgment. I want to read a little bit of this here to you. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit on his throne in heavenly glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right, and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since cre the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. And this is from Matthew 25. Uh, verses 31 through 36. Now when the disciples heard this teaching from Jesus, they were a bit confused. They had been with him for two years and not really seen him in, in that kind of predicament. But Jesus continues as he clarifies this teaching and he sees their confusion there. And he says, the king will reply, I, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers, or sisters of mine, you did for me, and that's verse 40. Jesus made uh, the meaning of discipleship, I think, right here perfectly clear. You can't separate your relationship with God uh, from your responsibilities uh, to God's people. We serve God when we serve others. We, we give to Jesus when we sacrifice our times, our, 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 our talent, our resources to meet others' needs in his name. The church, after all, is the body of Christ. We are the only hands and feet and wallet that God has. I invite you this Christmas Eve to go and be Jesus' hands, feet, and maybe sometimes his wallet. Go in peace. Bye now.